Putting up trade barriers is bad for your economy. The withdrawal from the EU is a form of putting up trade barriers. Full stop. It is a fact of life. It's one of the few things in economics we can talk about as a fact of life. The gravity applies. Can you see what's wrong with this scene? The trick is called forced perspective. I think the people in this country have had enough of experts with uh, organizations saying, country saying have had enough of experts with, with, with organizations with that. This is the story of how a mythical EU dragon was conjured up and the striking truth behind it all. The UN described a nasty underbelly of racism and noted that Nazi media also referred to people as cockroaches and rats. This campaign poster captures the deception. The migrants aren't heading to Britain and have no way to reach it. Me do because I wanna. The low white face has been covered by the campaign slogan. The framing of Boris and his colleague Jacob Rees-Mogg as fighting the establishment was also very forced. Jacob's father was the editor of the Times. In his own words, he was effectively born into the establishment. He is for fox hunting, against abortion under any circumstances, and personally delivered a Daily Express petition against foreign aid. The Leave campaign's greatest trick, after dishonestly sowing and stoking so much groundless fear themselves, was to steal from that cheap Trump playbook and accuse Remainers of being guilty of their crime. Just as Trump, the master creator of false facts, shouts fake news at whatever goes against his agenda, so the Brexiteers, the arch instigators of electoral fear themselves, routinely labelled all the warnings from experts Project Fear. Expert warnings which have come starkly true throughout this shambles of a negotiation period. The truth is beginning to outshine the mythical dragon of the EU. Polls show that most people would now rather remain in Europe and there is increasing support for a vote on the final deal, something Jacob Rees-Mogg once supported. Perhaps in a final vote, facts would start to overcome fears. Wouldn't that be a win for informed democracy? <laughs>